Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records. Wings are here. Oh, from No, I'd never order from anymore. Popeye's now has wings in five flavors. Ghost pepper, roasted garlic parmesan, sweet and spicy, signature hot, and honey barbecue. Marinated in Louisiana spices, hand battered and flipped. Makes no sense they're five ninety nine for six pieces. Taste them. Mmm, crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Consider me a convert. That's the most romantic thing you've said to me all month. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Price may vary. <sighs> Adventures of Biggles. <laughs> Bound hand and foot and imprisoned in a dirty hut. Ginger and Mishu are tremendously cheered when they hear the mosquito put down on the Latonga airstrip. But the strip is some distance from the crowd, and the headman visits the prisoners before Biggles can find them. He tells them that when night comes, they will die. They will be fed to a man-eating leopard that prowls the nearby jungle. And your friend come to me, and I say, Gun of white man, spear of Mishu, we find near bones. Leopard come, kill them. Men of Carl cannot help. <laughs> you filthy swine. Do you think Biggles will believe that? He believe. Lap would kill many men. You wouldn't dare. Ratonga, Netavad, Netavana. They do this to us. No fear they won't. Biggles will find us before then. No one find you. Of course he will. He'll see our plane on the strip. When he finds we aren't in the rest hut, he'll come looking for us in the kraal. The Tonga man, clever man. We not keep you in kraal. You stay in this hut. Well, it's in the kraal, isn't it? This hut in jungle. Not far from kraal, but hidden. So only Latonga may know of it. No one finds you here. You'll laugh on the other side of your face before the day's through. You might hide us from most people, but not from Biggles. No matter what you do with us, he'll find us. <laughs> The plane's perfectly all right, Biggles. A bit low in juice, but there's no sign of any trouble. I'm sorry to hear it. Sorry? Sizzling sausages, old bean. You didn't want to find Ginge tangled up in a belly great prang, did you? If he'd had trouble with his kite, it'd explain why he hadn't taken off for Kampala. But he didn't mean to return until this morning. This morning started five hours ago, Pat. If Ginge was all right, he'd have been well on his way south by now. And there's another thing. Why hasn't he come out to meet us? He must have heard us land. If he was in the rest hut, he'd have heard us. Yes, that's the mighty valley question. What? Is he in the valley rest hut? It won't take us long to find out, but we can take a guess at the answer before going near the place. Not a sign of him. I knew he wouldn't be here. Hmm. It's an awful mess. This is exactly as it was when Bertie and I came up here yesterday. Is this the fight you were talking about? Oh, well, baked potatoes, old dear. Doesn't look as if an afternoon tea party's been held in the valley place. What? Although my old aunt Ermintrude used to hold rather hectic tea parties in her day. There's nothing changed? Not that I can see. Do you notice anything, Bertie? No. Oh, same jolly old shambles, I'd say. And yet Ginch has come in since you were here. Obviously. The proctor wasn't here yesterday. Then he must be about somewhere. Somewhere where he either couldn't hear our kite put down or couldn't come out to meet us. We'll make inquiries at the native kraal. Yeah? 
Yes? Me head man of Carl. I'm looking for a friend of mine. The white man who flew the other airplane in here. Can you tell me where he is? Not no. Oh, baked potatoes. Don't come that belly rot, old trout. Leave it to me, buddy. You must have seen the plane land. Me not see. Natives in Carl see. And did the natives see the white man climb out of the plane? Did they? Did they? Yes. Where did the white man go? Me not know. I know. Perhaps we'd better make him know, Biggles. You're acting foolishly in refusing to tell me these things. You know who I am. White man. I'm a white policeman. He's more than that. We're all policemen, but he's a big policeman. One of the Queen's head policemen from England. The land across the sea. Yes, by Jove, he's the most frightfully important warrior. We all positively quiver when he speaks, particularly when he bellows like a valley foghorn. If you don't answer him correctly, you're likely to end up in jail. You might even lose your head. All right, Lokes, all right, all right. Break it down a bit. What, uh, what you want to know, Buana? I want to know what happened to the white man who brought in that other plane. He go into a forest. He take gun. Native in cow think he go to hunt. Oh, I say, that's so much belly nonsense. Old Jin just isn't the hunting type. You heard what my friend said about me? Yes, Buana. You know what will happen to you if I find you're lying? Me no, Buana. I'll ask you again. What happened to the other white man? He go into forest with gun. That way. And if that's all you have to say, we'll leave it at that. But remember, if you've been lying to me, you'll suffer for it. Come on, Lux. The man was obviously lying. I'm absolutely certain he knows where Ginger's. Yes, and that's not in the valley forest hunting, my Jingo. He's hiding something from us, Biggles. I wouldn't be surprised to find he's harmed Ginger himself. That's quite likely. These Latonga natives have a bad reputation. For some time, they've been suspected of poaching wild game. If they thought Ginger was coming to investigate, they might have attacked him. That's the possibility I have in mind. Then why are we wasting time? Let's get the guns from the kite and go through the village. One of us can cover the headman and the elders while the others search the huts. We wouldn't find anything, Algie. That headman's a cunning devil. He'd foresee an obvious move like that. If he has any evidence of Ginger's whereabouts, I don't think we'd find it in the village. Well, then what can we do, old Bean? You're not going to suggest we waffle through the forest to look for him? No, that'd be a complete waste of time. We're going to wait and let the headman show his hand. That's all very well, but he may have more patience than we have. He won't know we're waiting. Oh, but hang it all, old sausage. With two bally kites out there on the strip, it's a bit bally obvious, isn't it? They won't be there. Algie, I want you and Pat to take the kites back to Kampala. In case anyone's watching, we'll all walk across to them. Pat can openly climb into the proctor, but when we reach the mossy, Bertie and I will slip into the long grass beside her and hide there while you take off. Oh, baked potatoes, yes. And they'll think we've gone too. <laughs> You're a genius, Bertie. The plan okay with you, Aldi? Fine. If you and Bertie think you'll be safe here. Oh, one is always safe with Alicia around, old trout. Uh, I mean to say... Um, yes, uh, well, we'll keep our revolvers and a couple of rifles. We'll be all right. How long do you want us to stay at Kampala, Biggles? Refuel both kites and bring them back first thing in the morning. We'll know by then whether the head man is on the level or not. I hope you're alive to tell us about it. Well, if it has to be done, let's get cracking. The sooner we're away, the sooner you'll find out about gin. Yes. But, uh, leave the rifles here in the hut. Bertie and I'll sneak back later and collect them. I say, Biggles, old bean. How are the ants with you? A couple of the little trouts are dancing the highland fling on my shoulder blade. <laughs> I'm comfortable enough. Keep well down in the grass, Bertie. I don't think we were seen whipping across here, but we mustn't risk showing ourselves at this stage. Oh, we're groveling, old bean. Positively groveling into the belly dust. There's the proctor. Good old Pat. Hope she remembers the flying lessons Uncle Bertie gave her. Oh, I say, she might warm the valley thing up a bit. She was impatient to get away. She'll be all right. Nevertheless, we'll have a word in her shell-like ear tomorrow, by Jove. Take us like that are only for a valley emergency. Now, Archie. 
he won't waste any time either. Pickles, old trout. Hmm? Look at those belly natives. Over by the craft. <laughs> Dancing for joy and shaking their fists at the planes. <laughs> they think we've all gone. The jolly trick worked by Joe. So far. Let's hope it works all the way and leads us to Ginge. We'll watch the kraal carefully for an instant. Where they go, Bwana? The aeroplanes, where they go? Back to Kampala, probably, Mitchell. Away from here, anyway. But two aeroplanes go. They take our aeroplane. I know, and they left us no way of escape. However, they... They don't know we're here. But they can't be blamed for that. And maybe we don't escape. Maybe not. Tonight, we'll know more about that. Tonight, when they throw us to the leopard. Old Trout, we lissies hate to admit it, but we're beginning to have belly doubts about this nonsense. I mean to say, we've been here for positive hours and nothing's happened. It's dark now. We might see something during the night. Yes, well, personally, we lissies see less at night than in the day. We aren't cats, you know. <laughs> Clots is the word for you, Ulysses. Oh, now, Biggles, by Joe, <laughs> that isn't worthy of you. One might expect such a remark from Al or Jin, but I went... Sizzling, possibly. The crawl. Something starting. What is it, Monsieur? Why are they chanting like that? The native dance, Juana. This bad dance. Bad? Why? This dance of sacrifice. So they fed us to the leopard. <laughs> Natives in the kraal are working themselves to a frenzy, relishing the sacrifice that soon will be made. But Biggles is close by. Can he save Jins and Mishu? Don't miss the thrills in the next chapter of The Air Adventures of Biggles! <laughs> Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. Chumba. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumba. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.